Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will be sharing geography books that Usborne Books and More has to offer for you in your home. I am a homeschool mom of three and next year I'm going to be doing, um, for the next two years actually, we're going to be learning about the world. Uh, we're going to be learning about biomes and all things uh, planet Earth and all the countries of the world. So I have gathered all the books that I would like to use in, within my home and I have them to share with you today. So without further ado, here they are. Okay, what I'm going to be sharing with you is not everything that Usborne has, but it's a lot of what they have because I um, gathered everything that I thought I would want. <laughs> so here they are. All right, the first thing is something a little fun that I want my kids to do as we go, and it is um, sticker dolly dressing around the world. And these are um, the sticker dolly books, and they, um, this one is really large. There's some smaller ones as well. Inside this one, there is the dress stickers of male and female from each of the countries. So, I thought that this would be a really fun as we learn about different cultures around the world. And so that you see which countries there are. Um, well, these, this is the table of contents. So we will use this as it comes up in our curriculum. Osborne also has a Flags of the World sticker book. The um, pages look like this. So there is a map of Oceania and then the countries that go with it and then the stickers go here. So what I'm going to be using is there's a place for a date and a place and I'm going to every time we study it we're going to put a sticker on and then the date that we studied it and um, the places that we specifically studied will put there and record. This will be like our passport as we go. All right now Usborne has recently come back out. This is a vault uh, item of the Usborne Children's World Cookbook. And this book is wonderful. It has so many great recipes from all over the world, but it also talks about foods. So, um, like, right here they have a whole... You can learn about fruit around the world and breads and vegetables and all different kinds of things. So, this is the um, table of contents so that you can see that and this was going to be a resource that we use as we travel around the world as well okay there are a million books <laughs> it seems like a million um, about the world so I'm going to show them to you in this way we have the very first book uh, world book this is um, just talks about earth and the world and changes in the world and cultures and um, biomes and um, different parts of the world. There's no flaps in this book and the pages are on the thicker side. So this is great for your, uh, your preschool age kids if you're looking at that, even though it's great all the way up. And then the next level is look inside our world. And this one has flaps and it's just a little bit deeper of information from the last one. So, these are great resources. Like I said, it's the same places, just more information and a deeper level. So that's Look Inside the World. We also have questions and answers about our world. So there, these are questions that children have asked and come up with and they have formed their books to answer the questions. This is a great one if you have a questioner, which I think don't we all? <laughs> okay, we also have the Osborne Geography Encyclopedia. This is going to be part of my core um, in, like textbook as we go through the different biomes and stuff. There's um, different biomes and different things about the world, but then there's also, um, it talks about different places in the world, so just so that you're aware of what's inside. It's a pretty thorough uh, book as well. Now stories from around the world. We have 
two books. There are stories from around the world, and then there are illustrated fables from around the world. Both of them are different. Both of them have some different aspects to them. So if you are looking for something that has to do with stories um, and learning stories from different cultures in the world, these are really great. This is a new book to me, but it is wonderful. It is called Here and There, and it talks about different things that they do. So like, how do children from the U.S. get to school? How do children from Africa get to school? And so inside, it just um, tells you, like, um, where do they play? What games do they play based on where they live? And I just think it's a really great uh, way for children to understand the differences of um, where we are from and where they're from. Next thing is atlases. There are a lot of atlases. I have two of the three. I have the third somewhere. But we have Big Picture Atlas and we have Lift the Flaps Atlas. We also have the Children's Atlas. So Lift the Flap and Big Picture Atlas. These two are very similar. They have similar pictures. This one just has flaps. This one is just paper. So it's very thin pages in this one, whereas the other one and no flaps. But this is the world. And over here, I would say the big picture atlas has a little bit more information just because they're more able to have more pages. Sorry, we went upside down. However, if you look at the maps, you can see that they're designed very similarly. So if you're looking for an um, atlas, just kind of go for, for what you think is best for your family. Um, there is also the sticker picture atlas of the world. And what it is is it's the same kind of concept where you have this, but then there's pictures. All these little things are grayed out and you put the picture um, or the sticker that goes along with it onto the picture so that you can fill in as you learn about it. So it's another hands-on way of doing things. Last but not least, we have Usborne's Big Picture of Planet Earth. Now this is a brand new one and it is wonderful. Um, I will do a separate video on this so I can review it more closely. But this book is a great resource book. Um, done in a really well done way to explain things to children. So um, it talks about all kinds of things around the world. It is very long, very thorough, and one that can be a really great reference for your home. Anyways, that is all of the uh, geography books that I have that Osborne has to offer. If you are looking for some more or have any questions, please let me know, and I will be happy to get you um, some more information. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye.